Hey guys, it's me Shail here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today I bring you another tutorial video on the channel and this tutorial has been requested quite a lot in my comment sections over um, a couple of my tutorial videos, previous tutorial videos. And uh, the tutorial video that we are going to be making today is um, about Fortnite thumbnails, Fortnite montage thumbnails that you guys usually see. Uh, like One of them is going to be showing up on the screen right now um, that we are going to be working on in this video it's going to be very short and very quick um like it doesn't take a lot of time um so yeah let's just get into it this is a very simple 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 process and you don't really need to um, have a lot of skills in making such stuff um but i would not recommend reselling this process it would be just used for your own sole purpose for your own montages um highlights and stuff like that so let's just get started all right, so the first thing you are uh, you guys are going to be going to do is you guys are going to be getting yourself some renders and some backgrounds now i have these two um google drives opened up right now the link would be in the description um the render pack i um have used previously as well um is by high suit designs while uh, the fortnite backgrounds is um i'm not sure by whom i'll be linking his channel in the description as well uh make sure to you know support them as well um it's um the season four start backgrounds you can use any background it's completely up to you um so let's say we are going to be choosing a skin let's say um we will be going with a nice little skin that will be suiting the whole um scenario let's just say we are going to be going with this recon expert let's just download this real quick and then the next thing we are going to be doing is we're going to be downloading a background um any one of these backgrounds would work this one looks really really nice um and this one as well so let's just download these two of these um and we'll see which one goes better obviously with experiments it would be better next up we will be going into our photoshop and um from in photoshop we're going to be opening up a thumbnail size uh, sized file um, that is 1280 into 720 with a resolution at 300 let's just quickly create that now that we have the canvas in here we're just going to be placing in our uh, backgrounds now that we have our background in here i'm just going to be slightly resizing it by a little bit just so that it um, fills the whole canvas and now we are going to be placing in our render Um, now we have resized and positioned our render into the place. Um, we're going to be adjusting the background according to the render. As you guys can see, the render is um, not, um, you know, blending in with the background, obviously. So we're just going to be having a little bit of a perspective tool implementation. We're just going to have a little click to it. And then we're also going to be using some shadows um, and some light work on this whole thing now as you guys can see it's dark over here but there's a little bit a little bit of light going on here and especially on the window so we're just going to create a new layer clip and mask new layer above the above the character and right click clipping, clipping mask we're going to go into the brush select a white color increase the brush size how i do this is i hold alt and right mouse button and just drag it horizontally and it increases and decreases the size also the hardness in vertical i'm going to put the hardness at zero and the size around 300 i'm just going to have small highlights going on in here just a little bit not not a, not, not a lot because it's already um, done pretty well um, we were going to be adding some another match and we're going to be adding some black shadows in here as well soft light and uh, that is pretty much it it's really simple you don't have to do a lot um it's i, I don't i don't really get why people actually 
buy these thumbnails for two to three dollars i'm talking about the ones that are professionally made i'm talking about these thumbs that are super easy to make anyone can make them um you can even put in a lot of details like duplicating the layer and then um, using the perspective tool uh, a bit of a shadow in the background as well We go a little bit of a shadow as well. I know it's quite scuffed, but you can do that as well. And you can add in the camera filter to even make it look um more cool um i would say um let's say we go into the camera filter and uh we put in some nice filters let's say some right i'm not even going into the custom stuff just the presets this tutorial is basically for the ones that are not um very experienced with photoshop but um they need stuff to get uh, done with especially those that are just starting up and they cannot afford thumbnails um, by professional designers this will definitely help them up um, and just a little bit of a vignette effect as well and we have a very decent looking thumbnail ready within a few minutes um, so basically this tutorial is for the guys that are very new to the whole scenario they don't know how to graphic design and at the same time they're starting up their channel with montages and highlights and they cannot afford thumbnails and uh, they go oh, they go out and search for thumbnails and people out there are literally going to put going to be putting up these um backgrounds and a render as you guys can see it's literally so simple anyone can do it um and they're just going to do this and they're going to sell this for three to four dollars which is really really immoral um since the render isn't theirs the background isn't theirs it's just free to use stuff out there on the internet you can do this on your own as well so no need to go out there and waste any sorts of money um so yeah here's a quick little tutorial i hope this was helpful for those that needed it and yeah, as I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Till then, have a good day, have a good night, whatever you're having, according to the time zones you are living in. And another thing that I stream every day on my channel, this channel right here that you're watching this video on. Um, so yeah, tune into that as well. I do different graphic design projects. I do different challenges. I even make free um, GFX for my viewers at times as well. And I also do a lot of gaming streams on here as well. So would really appreciate you tuning in. And yeah, thank you so much for dropping in and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.